First question. If you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? Um, honestly, I wouldn't want to find out anything because I feel like that ruins the whole, like, like if you know everything that's going to happen in your life and it's like boring. So nothing. Two, if you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I would go to Paris, France for fashion week. I've always wanted to go to Paris and I haven't been yet. And I feel like just being being in Paris on top of fashion week, like just knocking off two things off the bucket list in one, it's perfect. If you could take control of anyone's Instagram account for one day, who would it be and why? I think that I would do Kendall Jenner's because I'm obsessed with her aesthetic and I think I could just like sneak a post in there and no one would, no one would know. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I would eat sushi. <laughs> I love sushi. And I already eat so much of it that it's very much a staple in my diet where if I wasn't eating anything else besides sushi, there wouldn't be that much of a difference. So. <laughs> okay, if you were stranded on an island, I love this question. If you were stranded on an island and they would only take three objects, what would they be? Okay. I'm not gonna go the route of like logic and being like, boat. No, I'm gonna choose objects that I feel like I can't live without. One being my phone. <laughs> I, am, I have a problem with my phone. That's sad to say and hate, I hate to admit it, but I do. Um, I'm gonna say the Laneige lip sleeping mask because, okay, if you're stranded on a desert island, I feel like my lips are gonna be really trapped and I'm gonna need that because that's like the only thing that works for me. Can't have chapped lips. And I'm gonna say my green Target blanket that I have. It's my favorite thing on the planet and I don't think I can live without it. Yeah. What advice would you give to your past self? To stop caring about what other people think because it seriously doesn't matter. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Same thing, stop caring about what other people think. It doesn't matter what they say, they're irrelevant. Okay, 11, what are your favorite movies of all time? I have a list for this, hold on, let's see. Ooh, now there's like 10 movies on this, now I have to do it down, okay. Tinkerbell is like my comfort movie. I watch that movie every time I'm sick, I love it, it's, it's so sweet. Um, Crazy Rich Asians, I also watch that every time I'm on an airplane because it's like, it's free on little screens and it's such a good movie. I also love Maze Runner and I'm gonna say Friends with Benefits. So my four. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? I'm gonna say, I don't think I have any. I don't really get embarrassed that often because I am really like capable of laughing at myself. So I, I don't, yeah, no, I don't really get embarrassed that often. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? Um, well, okay, so I started getting a following after uh, my movie Turning Red came out where I was the voice of this character Miriam. And um, so a lot of that, a lot of my following now came from that. And I don't think a lot of them know that I am a singer also and I write my own songs. That's kind of dope. What is your biggest pet peeve? I hate it when people chew with their mouth open. I think it's so annoying. What is your favorite birthday memory? Um, two of my friends came and picked me up and they brought me flowers and boba and they took me to watch the sunset because I love the sunset and that was really sweet. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? Flying. I think flying would be so dope. Let's see. What is your favorite video that you've ever posted? My vlogging, my vlogging the Turning Red premiere because that was such a special moment for me and being able to share that was really cool. I also think, I actually, I deleted this video on my YouTube, but I had this video up and it got, it kind of went viral, but it it was me vlogging during a tornado, but there wasn't actually a tornado and nothing happened. And it was, it's really, really bad. The clickbait on that was embarrassing. But what's your goal for where, where you'll be three years from today, not living in Illinois? Living anywhere else but Illinois, that's my goal. When did you first go viral? Um, I don't know. I didn't really go viral in any sort of way since all my following kind of came from the projects that I've done, acting-wise. So, I guess, I'm trying to think when I first got social media and what projects I was doing. I first got Instagram when I was, like, little because I was doing, like, shows and I'm like, okay, like, 
So I just, I don't, I have no clue. Sorry. What was a time in your life you felt like you were at crossroads and how did you decide what to do? I feel like I've gone through multiple crossroads, especially recently. I've been very conflicted with different like friend circumstances, but I think the most, the one that kind of like really decided where my life was gonna go was kind of scary, but when I was like little, I had to decide between acting or gymnastics and I chose acting and I guess I chose right. <laughs> Who were the first creators you followed on social media? Emma Chamberlain, Jules Blanc, and Sissy Sheridan, and I still follow them today. I'm huge fans. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? Well, okay, again, like, social media isn't really my main thing. It kind of stems off of the different projects that I do acting-wise, and that is my main career path. Um, so as long as I'm doing acting, and as long as I'm um, singing and I feel like no from because I started social media because I was acting so I think yeah I didn't see it for a while for a long time y'all are stuck with me if you could travel anywhere where would you choose oh this is the same as the um the like if I could have my dream vacation well okay I guess it's kind of different so I'll do a different answer I have always wanted to go to Greece I feel like Greece is so pretty and I've always wanted to go because I used to be, I used to be obsessed with like the Percy Jackson books and like the Greek mythology, and I thought it was so dope. I still kind of am. That's really embarrassing to admit. Oh, but Greece. Okay, next question. If you would just describe yourself in four words, what would they be? <sighs> Outgoing, aesthetic, confident, slay. What is your favorite holiday? Halloween! I love Halloween! It's so much fun. It's, it's always been my favorite holiday. Even since I was little, I'd dress up in my little costumes and I'd go full out. But like, I could never decide what I wanted to be. So I'd like change my outfit and my costume like the day before. I didn't really stress my mom out, but hey, what can you, what can you do? I had a blast and I always looked slay. It was amazing. Which of your accomplishments are you most proudest of? There's many, there's, there's, I don't want to say there's a lot, but I'm going to say turning red because that is such a huge deal for me. Pixar is crazy and everyone that I've met through that is amazing. So that's a huge accomplishment. And I'm going to say like putting out songs when I was literally 12, that takes so much confidence. And like, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for that because I got a lot of like hate from that <laughs> at school. Like it was, it was bad, but I stuck through it. I'm proud of myself for powering through that. That took a lot of guts for being 12. And who are your role models? My mom. I love my mom. And that is it. Those are all the questions. Thank you guys so much for having me. I had such a good time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's just Able to Run Morris. Um, and stream Turning Red on Disney Plus. Woo!